And we are underway in this championship gold medal bout of the European Olympic qualification event. And this is a repeat of the world championship final from the most recent tournament in Yekaterinburg in 2019. And on that occasion, it was the man in blue, Andrei Zamkovoy, who prevailed over Pat McCormack to be crowned as the world champion. Pat McCormack came away with a silver, but even though it says a points decision victory, 4-0 in favour of Zamkovoy, in the record books, I was commentating on that tournament and the contest was curtailed in the second round after an accidental clash of heads and the, the rounds were scored and it was Zamkovoy who was declared the victor to, be, to claim his world title. And that following on from his world championship silver way back in 2009, Alex. He's an experienced operator. He's the 32-year-old through to his third consecutive Olympic Games. It's two Olympic appearances now for Pat McCormack in Tokyo 2020. Well, it's very unusual as well that we see someone who's taller and rangier than Pat McCormack. But Sam Kavoy looks like he has considerable height and reach advantages here. Huge for 69 kilograms. As we can see that structured face, super tight cheekbones and jawline, considering it's probably not that easy for Zamkovoy to get his body weight down to 69 kilos, especially at 33 years old. And remember his first World Championship medal way back in the World Champs in 2009. Head guard was still in evidence there, remember? That's when the transition was made back to three three-minute rounds after the four two-minute rounds of your era. But that's where Zamkovoy came away with World Championship silver, losing, losing to Golden Jack Kolkai of Germany in the championship bout. Well, I did go through a few years run. I also boxed in the three threes. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean it like that. I didn't mean it like that, man. You know what I'm saying. No disrespect intended to amazing Alex Arthur. Who is very old now. <laughs> <laughs> so inside the final minute then of what has been a cage opening round so far. Good left hand yeah. landed by McCormack. Sam Kavoy was off the mark with his southpaw left hook. Well, I had a, I had a funny instinctual feeling, Ron, that, that Pat McCormack would try to play counter-puncher here today. I haven't spoken to a few friends in the know. I had a sneaky suspicion that he might try lead Sam Kavoy on. From what I'm led to believe, and you'll know better than me, McCormack took the contest to Sam Kavoy yep. the first time these guys met. And on this occasion, I'm told, was going to box and move as they found that that might suit him a little bit better. But that, again, really tricky round to score. Round two. So into the second round we go then. In his first Olympic appearance back in 2012, Andre Zamkovoy came away with a championship bronze, losing at the semi-final stage against the eventual champion, Sarik Sapiev of Kazakhstan. Went over feet, quite awkwardly feet. there, Ron, on his front foot, Zamkovoy. It didn't look comfortable. I hope he's OK. His front foot took a real twist and bend as he went down there. Pat McHornmack, I think, even recognised it and gave him a sporting tap on the back. Beautiful counter right hand from McCormack, who celebrates it by winding it up while he was in the neutral corner, turns himself back to the space of centre ring and comes forward with an effective two-shot combination, backing up the man in blue. Pat McCormack playing mind games there, hoping that his success and then celebrating that success would probably lead Zamkovoy on to making some mistakes. Boxing is a mental game very much. Please believe that as well. Terrific right hand landed by McCormack. Sharp boxing from McCormack there. So Zamkovoy gets through with a southpaw left, comes through with a, follows it with a corkscrew right hand out of the southpaw stance as McCormack looks to dig in a hard one-two once again. Yep, he's hitting the mark with that one-two, Ron. And again, might not be jarring the head back of Zamkovoy, but it's certainly a scoring blow. 
short of the range on that occasion. But that over the low-held lead hand of McCormack was a beautiful jab. My goodness, that was rapid. Three-shot combination. Perhaps one of the shots did get through from the man in red. Southpaw left in response from Zamkaboy, who walks after his opponent. Lands a southpaw left once again before tucking up to avoid the counter. Good right hand landed by McCormack to the body of the man in blue. McCormack likes to throw that left uppercut on the back of his right hand. He's had a lot of success in the competition with that. There the you nice see it there hook. again. Yep, half hook, half uppercut, right yep. on QLX after the right cross. Chips that shot up very well. It's a favoured shot of his. And if it scores and lands, it looks pretty spectacular. There's a counter left hand from Zamkovoy. McCormack tried to answer with a one-two combination as Zamkovoy scores with a right jab. Approaching the final 30 seconds of the second round. McCormack looking for that left hand once again. Well, I think McCormack's nipping matters here, although he's taking well, his fair share of sharp singles in this round as well. And just as you were saying that, Alex, a 1-2 landed from Zamkovoy, now up on his toes, moving laterally left and right. Right hand appeared to be long from McCormack, but the second one did find a range on the temple of the man in blue. Single shot success for Zamkovoy before a tangle ensues. Skills on show here, Ron, are pretty high. Another competitive round of boxing in this 69 So into the third and final round then. And this contest between two very skillful operators is a wonderful sight to behold. Two Good scoring backhands from Zamkovoy, one after the other there. Would suggest that he's just creeped ahead in this round up to now. But there is a long way to go, of course. Pat McCormack tries to run Zamkovoy onto a left hook. Who will take centre of the ring here? Who will try and force matters? And who will try and box and play the role of counterpuncher? Because this contest is very, very close. Nice up jab scored out of the southpaw stance. McCormack counters immediately. And then Zamkovoy back on the right jab once again. Left hand success for the man in blue. Left hand over the top once more from Zamkovoy. So much concentration in evidence between these two boxes. They continue to feint and try and draw that opening. Short to the mark with the attempted southpaw left. Oh, oh what a left uppercut from McCormack, who really did produce a blistering burst of punches there. And holds his ground with a jab as Zamkovoy tried to get back into the contest there with a stiff jab. Pat McCormack kept his foot on the outside of Zamkovoy's foot and just fully extended his left arm and allowed Zamkovoy to run right into that jab at the end of that, that cluster. Tactically smart stuff from McCormack, who seems to be the one that's putting the pressure on here. He's on the front foot while trying to counter. He takes a left hand though. Stiff left hand over the top from Zamkovoy. Less than a minute to go now in this third and final round. McCormack has to let his hands go a little bit more here, like that. One of his favourite combinations. Oh. A solid left hand landed from Zamkovoy. McCormack tries to answer with a backhand of his own, but it went over the top. That was one of the cleanest shots in this round by quite some way, that backhand from Zamkovoy. Heads almost come together there, thankfully. No collision. McCormack still forcing the action here, takes a backhand but lands. He's loving this, McCormack. Oh, and that's a hard left hand landed by McCormack, who celebrates it once again, pounds his gloves together and says, let's do this. Yes. Stepping into the breach, playing the aggressor in the closing stages. Zamkovoy covering up, trying to make the punches bounce off his gloves. Really strong portion of the round for Pat McCormack as Zamkovoy goes in search of a southpaw left. The 10-second clapper has sounded. McCormack employs a headlock to conclude the contest. And look at that show of sportsmanship between two familiar rivals. That is wonderful to see. Beautiful. They know how good the opponent is. And my goodness, didn't they drag the best from one another in this gold medal bout here at La Grande Dome. Terrific to see. And McCormack, all smiles, 
he had a really strong conclusion to that third round and that could well be decisive in tilting the verdict in his favor. What a contest. We know one point by unanimous decision. In the red corner. So Pat McCormack gets a measure.